concentrating, you can have it. Uh. Can you hear me now? I think Brett is in chat. Can you hear me, Brett? My mic was muted. I'm gonna have to go through that whole thing again. I had a good joke in there too, come on. Brett, if you can hear me, just let me know. I'm gonna assume you can because I know what was wrong. All right, so if you haven't been to this uh, thing before, this is what happens sometimes as well. We have technical shit that goes wrong because, um, okay, good, uh, because you know, I'm running this whole thing out of a, uh, like basically one computer. Uh, my name's Kevin. I am uh, the producer and everything with Dondolo. Uh, this is the Dondolo live stream. Welcome, welcome. This is, I think, our sixth episode. We're going to be joined today by Sam Reichman, uh, who is a good friend of mine, painter. He's off screen right now. Uh, I'm going to put it on myself because you can't, uh, you don't want to see, nobody wants to see John Coltrane right now. Okay. Um, and uh, so we're going to be doing some live painting, some live producing, something I've never really done before on the Internet. Sam has done a little bit of it. Uh, and we're just going to get into it. Like I said earlier when I was muted, if you uh, have never been to this place before, this is our virtual reality cyber hyperspace where we can mess around and have some fun and chat and do all kinds of good stuff. We've had some... Uh, guests on in the last couple of weeks brett who was just in chat was was one of them another friend of mine john lander was also one of them and uh yeah uh, and, and i just want to give a quick plug if you haven't go listen go listen to my new track americana i put it out last week it's on everywhere spotify whatnot 
And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So what I'm going to bring on right now is my friend Sam, who I've known for a number of years. He's also a New York artist. Uh, he's a poet. He's a painter. He's a um, he could tell you other things he might be. But that's the main two things that I know him for is painting and poetry. So let me wait. Let me get right here. And I'm about to bring Sam on in. Wait, hold up, Sam. I think three, two, wait, one. Boom. There you are, Sam. You're live. Hey, Sam. How's it going? Hey, I'm good. Can you good. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. How's it going, bro? Hello? Sam, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I can hear you. I lost you for a second. How's it going, dude? Good, man. How are you? Good. Is there? Oh wait. Let me. Can I? Can I turn you up a little bit? I don't know. Um. Yeah. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Is this like kind of weird for you, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is just life in 2021. Yeah, man. Tail end of the pandemic. I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. We started out the year in in our normal lives, or last year in normal lives, and now we're talking to each other in a virtual reality like uh universe yep that's how it goes that's, that's it that's, that's it. the deal <laughs> um all right so uh i kind of just gave a little uh, uh, like allusion to what you do up front but like can you just like give us a little bit of like background of what you do uh yeah yeah and maybe i can hop on your website and like do a little thing too yeah that would be super um, so yeah, I would basically agree. Those are my two main things, painting and poetry. So I, uh, let's see, painting wise, um, I studied like classical realism, like figurative stuff, but I mostly do a bunch of kind of surreal, semi-abstract, semi-objective things. Um, let me see if I can flip my camera around, kind of see some of the studio. does not want to let me turn around. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. So, uh, yeah, we've got some of the- Also, Sam, if there. you want to turn your thing sure. sideways, we'll get to see a lot more of you, of your shit. Like, so you mean? Like landscape, if you go landscape, we'll be able to see uh, a lot more. Yeah. yeah Perfect, yeah. there you go. That makes much more sense. Yeah, so this is the home studio space. You can see I'm working on these kind of weird uh, anatomy studies of angels. So I tend to do pretty strange stuff like that these days. Um, yeah, and in terms of poetry, uh, well, I started off in slam and spoken word, but I kind of do a mixture of that in page stuff now. Um, I know Kevin because of music stuff basically because yeah we could get into that too i mean yeah we've so me and sam met because we both went to a place called cafe vivaldi which is like a yeah. it's like a now dead rest in peace place in new york city where um it was like very much like an artist space um it was very much like um I don't know. It was like one of those places there aren't a lot of left in New York, frankly. Or like I don't really even know that many. Else. I don't know, Sam. Do you know any <laughs> that? That cat just closed, Steven. That's yeah, crazy. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? Uh, it's done, man. Yeah. Small's Whoa. Made it oh wow, that's actually really sad. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to bum out. Oh man, what a bummer. <laughs> sorry, everybody. No I'm kidding. By the way. uh, in chat, Brett says those are awesome. So compliments on your paintings. There you go, Sam. Oh, thanks, Brett. Put that in your quiver in your hat or whatever it's called. Feather in your yeah. cap. Um, but yeah, no, that's actually really sad. Okay, so New York is going to shit, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to be the bear of bad news. But yeah, no, so we met at a place called Cafe Vivaldi, which closed in like 2019 or something, um, unfortunately, yeah. due to a, a landlord that was an asshole. It was like a little complicated, but that was mostly it. And... Uh, and yeah, and it was kind of just a place where like, uh, I actually John who I had on the stream a couple weeks ago is also, we also met there and it was like kind of a place where, you know, like 
all artists were super welcome and it was like it was just kind of like a home for a lot of like creatives in new york city it was kind of like when you got there i got there and i was like wow this place is like fucking amazing and uh yeah. and it was kind of like one of those things you like when you're moving to new york you like hope there's like some place like this you know what i mean am <laughs> i being fair yeah no i mean it's yeah. You're like, oh, I'm going to go hang out with all the artists and they're, we're just going to like have like, you know, all kinds of like, I don't know, like it, it was just going to be like a free exchange of, of influence and all that type of stuff. And yeah, no longer there. But now we got 3D virtual reality, Sam. How about that? <laughs> so now we can be anywhere. We don't even have to yeah, be exactly. anywhere. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. So what we were going to do today is probably... I mean, we're going to try to just like see what we can do because I'm like, this is something I haven't never done this before either, um, is we're going to do some, I guess, live painting and live producing music. And we're just going to kind of improvise true Cafe Vivaldi style, actually. Yeah. Um, so you've done this before, Sam, right? You've done, I know you were doing like uh, live painting, live streams, right? Yeah. Um, okay. I finally figured out how to flip this fucking thing around. Can yeah. you see the video space? Um, yeah, I'm just going to actually, like, get the camera in place and everything. But, okay. uh, yeah, I, so I do, like, a once-a-week um, live stream. But it's really just, like, me putting on some music and, like, talking about technical things and painting while I paint for Sweet. anybody who's interested in it. What? Uh, uh, where can people check your shit out? Hello, Sam. Oh, we're losing him. Fuck. Oh no! And now I got you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Too much. Cool. Okay, let's turn back around. <laughs> um, where can where can people check out your stuff? By the way, I know I I know I have your I had your website up for a second. I can. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the website is a good place to see like finished products or published poems and that type of thing. Um, if you want to see stuff that I am doing currently, there's kind of two main places for that. One is kind of the open to the public place, which is my Instagram. Um, if you're on my website and you go to contact, you can get to it through there. Um, and then if you're looking for more kind of behind the scenes type of stuff, kind of like what we're doing here, but, um, more like time-lapse videos, that type of thing, um, you can go to my Patreon, and there's all sorts of tiers. If you just want to see the stuff, it's like $3 a month. So, you know. Sweet. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. I am a subscriber, so I can attest to it. He is. Yes. Yeah. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Before we, like, jump into, like, doing this, Sam, because I feel like I feel like it's a little, maybe we're rushing in. Like, maybe we could, could I just, add, maybe I could ask you a little bit about, like, how you got involved in painting and, like, where, yeah. you know, what your training or, like, kind sure. of, like, your evolution of all that stuff, you know? So just yeah. give me a little bit more about you. Yeah, here, let me turn my, there we go. Uh, yeah, so sorry for the camera bar, but I've got it set no up now. So. Um, yeah, so... I'm the son of a photographer and an oil painter and art teacher. So visual art has kind of always been a factor in my life. Um, but I never really had any formal training until I think it was like 2017. Um, yeah, 2017. I, or I guess I started studying there in 2016, but I quit my whole existence <laughs> to go study full-time at this place called the Art Students League of New York. So it's a uh, it's an atelier school. So basically you don't get grades or anything. You just sign up to study under a master artist and they teach you whatever you're interested in. So I studied like anatomy and drawing and um, all of prima painting, which is like a type of classical painting. Um, yeah, and that was basically how I got more seriously into art. Um, I studied there pretty intensively for like two years, um, and then I sort of went off on my own. Uh, and poetry-wise, um, yeah, I mean, like I was saying, I started off in spoken word and slam. I was kind of a New Yorican rat back in the day. Um, Can you just tell people what that is? Oh, yeah. Jesus. I forget that all these New York institutions... Yeah, please are... don't tell me that's gone, too. <laughs> no, no. The New York is still around, thank God. 
but um the founder just died a while oh, ago man. That was sad. but it's, but, a, it's um, basically like it's like a poetry cafe so, yeah. bar kind of in the lower east side yeah yeah so it's like one of the places where slam and spoken word like became a nationally recognized art form oh really uh, oh, i didn't even know that yeah, so like here in Chicago is like where Slam started basically. Um, so Miguel Algren, who just passed unfortunately, um, he founded this place, and basically it was sort of like a blend of like Latin culture in New York, kind of more like European English influence because he was like a Shakespeare scholar, and then like folk music and hip hop. Um, and those all just kind of like melded together to make the style of slam poetry that is now like when you hear people talking like this, that's <laughs> right. that's basically where that came from. Um, anyways, so I back in I went to college here, and back in college I just was there like every week obsessively because I was in love. Um, and yeah, so I don't know, I I went for a while to India and I taught poetry at a school there, started learning more about the formal page side of things because I had a totally different career path. I used to work in uh, forced migration with scholar refugees and did like an undergrad in Middle Eastern studies. So I was sort of living a dual life for a while, left that for the arts. Um, and since, uh, yeah, basically studying at the league, um, I eventually, after that, went on to go do, or <laughs> there was a little bit of a lap overlap, um, an MFA in poetry at Hunter College. Um, and Which now, you teach there, right? Yeah, well, my section got cut last semester. Oh, uh, okay, there you go. Oh. Fucking but, cool. Uh, yeah, it sucks. But yeah, no, I have taught there. And um, anyways, so yeah, so I, I adjunct when I can find the work, and I'm a poetry editor at a literary magazine that's... Um, Basically, it's dedicated to uh, art and poetry on uh, war and the consequences of war and geopolitical violence. Which is so, like kind of right up your alley from you know, if I had to take a guess. Yeah, it's kind of like if somebody just took my whole CV and like blended it. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, like Sam is like very much like like a dude that if I, I can talk like art and politics very much with and we're both kind of, I think, a little bit that way. And so the uh, Mary makes makes a lot of sense for you to be like working at a place that's like uh, very like art minded and politically minded. Because like when we when I was like first talking to you a lot, I remember you were working at the scholars thing, refugee yeah. thing, and you were trying to basically help scholars escape from Turkey under Erdogan or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes it sound like I was like slipping them passports or something. Yeah. But yeah, I was actually on Skype all the time. It was really weird to get on here and see all those old conversations. But yeah, really? uh, um, I don't even, <laughs> should I be disclosing that? Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, no. So it was like for scholars who, well, it's called Scholars at Risk and that pretty much explains what the organization does. And uh, I was like a, I would take the cases when people applied and kind of look into it basically before passing it along. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, there you go. There you go, friends. There's Sam Reichman for you. And why don't we now like transition a little bit to like doing, making something. Um, yeah. If yeah. anybody, by the way, anybody who's watching, you can write in and we'll, you'll see your um, like messages here on the, blackboard slash chat box thing that we have here um and yeah and we'll we'll like chat back to you so let us you know hit us up um and sam maybe so like all right so i guess what we could do is just start right we'll just like start yeah. doing something and i will probably i mean like it's di i mean what i don't know if we get that deep into it but like you're working on a static form kind of or like at least it becomes static yeah and i'm not so yeah. like maybe i'll just try some stuff does that bother you if i just go if i go here and there if i change instruments or change moods or whatever yeah no do whatever i mean it's like kevin was and i totally slacked off in the worst student ever but kevin <laughs> kevin was starting to give me piano lessons and then oh yeah oh, i totally forgot about it. no it's okay you're not the only one that that's happened to it happens yeah. you know but we should we should do it before i'm out of the city yeah um anyways 
Uh, Actually, yeah, well, no, we don't have to get into that now. But you have, we do have to have, we have to catch up because I want to know like what's happening with your. Maybe we could do that while painting and live streaming and tell me what's next for you. Yeah, sure. Right. Um, yeah, but when anyways, last time that I saw you, we were talking about like, well, how does like this concept from poetry translate into this for music, and you know, how does this, how would you represent this visually and all of that? So I'm just gonna kind of like roll with all of that, basically. Like we're just gonna see how that works, yeah. basically. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's do it. There I'm go. going to see if I can't get my other thing, my other window up here. Can I get desktop two? Can I get my Ableton window up? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Ableton, there you go. All right, so now we, got, we can see your shit and we can see my stuff, what I'm doing, I think. We should be able to anyway. But so, I don't know. I guess I'll start with piano. Yeah. But I want to make sure I can see what you're doing at the same time. This is, this is a challenge. I need, like, more, uh, I need more desktop, like, on my <coughs> shit, because I have, like, ten windows open. One of them's running a video game that's, that we're, that we're in. One of them running OBS streaming. One of them's running Skype. I feel like one day somebody's gonna watch this video and be like, "Can you believe what they had to do in 2021?" Like, I know. Wait, why is this not working? Hold on. Okay. Hey, Kevin, you're muted for me. Oh, okay. Wait, okay, good. I got to Now I'll fix that. Wait, I got to share my screen, I think. Share sound. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. I hope this doesn't fuck everything up. Okay, now can you hear that? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do this instead. Oh, so much painting. <laughs> so, what's really cool about this for me is that Sometimes when people are playing, I just think of the melody in terms of colors. Yeah. switch gears right. I'm gonna try out some of these I have some new like free plugins that I got last week and so let's try let's see if we can, see if we can't find some cool shit
Actually, yeah, that would be cool. Thank you. 
when the drums really, you can really make shit pop with the drum, good drum beat.
How you feeling, Sam? I'm feeling good. Um. All right. How do we like? I don't know. What do, are we? How do we find a resolution? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's the What's the thing? How do we do that? I just put a smiley face on this and like call it a day. Like, I guess we could do that. I think maybe I will actually. Hold on. I'm just gonna bring back in the bass, the good part. Thank you. 
sounds good let's put oh here how about this we can let's put because i didn't get a good angle on that i'll just play i'll play a little more of just this like main beat and we can get the beat and the painting at the same time okay. painting if it wasn't a little bit terrifying no i think it's good i think it captures like kind of the meanness of the of the bass in it. <laughs> yeah, no okay that was fun i don't know so what was going what was going through your head in that time or like well i guess when you first started i was just like thinking about the melody right because it was like all these kind of nice soft like higher register things so i was like all right we got some yellows and some pinks and some nice kind of fun stuff yeah and then you know you got a little like you got the drums in there you got the kind of digital sounds so yeah. i was like all right we need some we need some contrast and some things that don't totally agree with each other yeah it's funny like i it's like i interpreted um i think some of the like the brighter colors as like very almost like they they reminded me of like summer and like f you know kind of like <clears throat> funkiness and like kind of like I don't know being out not maybe not being outside but kind of being outside and so then that kind of got me into like a kind of a funky bass kind of mood I don't know uh, yeah thank you Brett thank you for he says great job thank you Brett oh um, thanks uh, but yeah no that that's what kind of got me into the bass thing and then. I was like, well, I might as well put some drums with it. And then I kind of was going for probably a more um, uh, organic kind of drum sound, but then it just, I don't know, something just, or maybe it was the first thing that, that worked kind of was like going for a more digital thing. And yeah. I don't know, there's something that like nice about contrasting that with like um, some of the, I don't know, more organic stuff, especially with what you're doing. Yeah, well, it was like, because it still kind of had that, like, watercolory, like, light, summery feel to it when yeah. you're playing, but then I was like, all right, we have kind of, like, this, like, digital, like, quickly moving bass, and so then I was, like, you know, doing the kind of jabby strokes. Yeah, I was about there. to ask, so, like, how do you represent, how, or, like, what what do you uh, feel like when, when I do, like, a digital type thing, like, what does that translate to you? I feel like, you know, the more kind of like harmonic something is and the more acoustic something sounds, the more I want to use like, um, hold on, let me hold this up to the camera. Like, uh, see that? That type a fan of fan brush. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, this is a type of brush that makes like, um, you know, well, a fan. Right. So it's like very smooth and it's, you know, it allows you to like make nice transitions. Right. Um, and then when you're playing like the more digital stuff, it's like I want to like make like sharper, more jagged movements. Yeah, I don't know. Like some feel... type of assembly line, things that have like squared off edges. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's yeah, yeah no, it kind of and it tracks with like if you think about like kind of uh. I don't know what the word is because I'm not knowledgeable enough, but like that type of architecture, more modern architecture, that's like yeah. more clean lines and like rigid and less like kind of flourishes and round stuff. You yeah, know? less like classical shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And less like, you know, um, yeah, I don't know, like like you, the type of stuff you see in New York that's like has lots of curls and it's like very, it's almost like flowery, but then you see like other stuff that's super squared off. Yeah, and it's funny that that translates to that for you too. Yeah, no, it's just like I feel like because when you first started, I was like, "Oh, okay, this is like when I'm at like a jazz show and yeah. I hear like like yellow and orange and pink in my head, so I'll put that on here." But then, like as you got into it, maybe just because I've been doing it longer, but I just stopped like thinking about it as technically or formally, and was just like, "All right, I'm just gonna react or whatever." <laughs> you know yeah no it's so yeah true yeah it's funny and and it's like it's funny how like kind of what you uh because i think that was probably an apt like interpretation of of what i was doing Mm -hmm. and then um and then i kind of well for one i kind of got bored of that what i was playing in the beginning that was like the first thing (laughs) and like and i was like i can't really do this for that long and then but then you were doing those colors and it was like oh maybe i could like make that into something funky you know like i don't know it's funny yeah yeah i don't know it's weird how like uh i feel like this painting has very kind of like 70s colors in yeah it. totally that, well that's why that's why i felt that way because it has like those yeah. oranges and kind of yellows and it's like it's very like super what's that movie with the curtis mayfield music uh is it Superfly or right oh yeah yeah, it reminded uh, me of like that logo. Um, yeah. Is it Superfly? Now I'm trying to remember the one with Pusher Man on it. I can't remember the name of it now, but I don't, I don't remember. But yeah, I know. Yeah, the, the sound you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's funny because like I didn't plan it that way. Like, there's a few colors on here that aren't in like the kind of I, the palette that I normally paint with for realism, um, or I don't know that I sometimes paint with for realism. It's this thing called the prismatic palette, and it's, like, what the impressionists use. Yeah. Um, but it's still pretty, like, you know, it doesn't have a lot of the more, like, wild, crazy colors. And I, I added, like, mm, I added, like, three of those that I'd like to paint with regularly. But other than that, it was, like, a pretty traditional palette. Right. And, uh, Is it still sticking still its palette. tongue out right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The, that was just, I don't know, that was just what it felt like, you know? Like, yeah. Totally. So that's what ended up coming out. Let me see if I can get in a little closer on that. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, Sam, I don't know. Do you have anything else? Oh, we didn't even talk about what we were going to do next. I don't know. Is that a personal thing? Can we, do we want to talk about that later? <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm so tell, after, what are you doing? So now you're leaving New York. Sad. Yeah. In the fall after nine years. It's crazy. Wow. Actually leaving. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. So I'm going to Denver. Uh, moving with my partner she uh congratulations by the way oh thank you yeah yeah so i mean it basically we're just kind of getting out of new york more than anything she her job is like an office there but i'm just going to be kind of doing the same same thing i'm doing here with lower cost of living and more mountains so right you know (laughs) yeah man and uh you know there's shit to there's like can you like teach and all that kind of stuff over there too i'm sure you can yeah, yeah. No, there's there's um you know a good amount of universities there and yeah, yeah my like editing job is remote anyways, so you know right that exactly won't be yeah. yeah sweet. Well, I may be I may be leaving New York anyway. There might be an exodus. Not Shit. to pull, yeah. not to like kind of play into like the. I actually think like p- what people say about New York now that it's like everybody's leaving. I don't know if that's actually true, but it just coincidentally that like, <laughs> but like I'm might be leaving and you're leaving and you know, just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The funny thing is I was, like, applying for stuff, like, outside of the city, outside of the country, like, before COVID, and then (laughs) COVID happened. And that's actually the reason I've been here instead of the reason that I've left. But now now I'm taking off. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, I guess... Do you want to, like, sign off, I guess? I guess we'll just say goodnight to anybody who's watching. Yeah.
yeah good night everyone thanks for good joining night, everybody do you want to show your face again or do you just want to like you can use this as your avatar how about that yeah sure so does. this this face that sam drew is now yeah there you go peace <laughs> Um, thank you anybody for watching and thanks anybody who's watching back on the, um, the live stream playback thing. Uh, appreciate it. I'll be back next week. I think next week I'm going to be doing like a, uh, Daft Punk like review stream thing with a couple friends. We're going to be talking about discovery. I have to double check to make sure that that's still happening, but that's the plan right now anyway. Um, so thank you guys for uh, watching and come back next week later. I'm going to play yeah. a song on our way out. All right. Thanks for having me, Kevin. It's thank you, Sam. I'm going to play something on our way out. One sec. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's do this. Um, all right. Later, guys. Peace. Uh, it moves fast, try to keep up Fortune teller playing double dutch, pick your feet up Uh, you want a pass or a seat up Better find a king that you can beat up Uh, get your brain for the meet up Sick your brain, paint a game face, pick the heat up Uh, and drown your fade in the teacup Cause if you wanna skip the weight, you gotta speak up Uh, but you grab enough and ooh Knocking the head, the shoe back at you Dummy knows the sun, stick your hand on the gun, you get a free one. Uh, but keep your mask on, kiddo. True Americana, they gaslight your zippo. Uh, and keep your gas with the ego. Satisfied till you crash on placebo. Ball, hold down, fight the golden race. Won't stop till they break your neck. My soul is caught, nigga. Lost in the field. Shout to the fake death. Ball, hold down, fight the golden race. Won't stop till they break your neck. If you take it serious, that's the start of your prop. You can fake a handshake, I'll meet you tomorrow. You can skate it both ways, you know. Be versatile, it's crass, but it's personal. Of course, you know. Been here since before, you know. Interrupt. Woo! Checking this out. Uh, run it back, take a redo. Ditch the education, the rest lasts the new you. Uh, I got a plan for some new new. We could grab a noodle downtown from a foo Cool, 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 dress up the voodoo. You wear the cape, he'll wear the tutu. I film the fucking post to YouTube. You got that real barham rhythm. Bow down, fight the bass. Won't stop till they break your neck. My soul's caught, need the dust in the fever. Strapped to the fake death. Bow down, fight the race. Won't stop till they break your neck. My soul's caught, need the dust in the fever. Strapped to the fake death. Bow down, fight the golden race. Won't stop till they break your neck. Hey.